Hey Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this short video, I want to show you how to build a package group with different packages in it from scratch. So what your package group is, is what you see right here in your orders, the different options that you can choose. The samples are based on a 8x10 printer, but uh, what we're going to do is set it up for a 4x6 or a 5x7 printer. So let's go ahead and switch over to our setup tab. We're going to click on products and services and then package groups. And we're going to make a brand new group. We'll call it my packages. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it will give us a default package, package one. We'll go ahead and set that as four by six. And one option that uh, a lot of times we'll forget about, but uh, the quick print, this will allow you to bypass and print directly to the printer instead of sending it to a shopping cart. So um, we'll go ahead and check this option because what that will allow me to do is just click on the package and it just immediately starts printing on the printer. So I've named the package and uh, the next thing I'll want to do is associate it with a printable product. So we'll scroll to six inch prints and select a four by six and we can see the quantity is set to one. So now I have a four by six package. Um, let's go ahead and continue on. We'll make a five by seven package and we'll go ahead and check the quick print option as well. And click add local print item, change to seven inch prints. There's my five by seven. And just for fun, we'll, we'll add one more digital file that we're going to go ahead and let's say save to our desktop. We'll create a folder on our desktop. The reason why I'm doing that is a little bit easier to show you with a, a file that's output rather than uh, sending to a printer, but it all works the same way. Click add local print item, digital delivery products, digital media, and let's select that folder. And I could apply a template on saving. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Um, if you're setting up for the first time, that should be blank. Go ahead and click Save. And now we'll go to our photo library. And I'm going to change my default group to my packages. And there are the three packages we just created. So now I should be able to click on Digital File. and it will automatically go to that folder. I'm going to go ahead and delete those test orders from earlier. So let's try that again. And this would work the same way with your printer. If I were to click on 5x7, it should automatically start printing directly to uh, a 5x7 printer or a 4x6 printer. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.